Okay. Are we good? <laughs> I think so. Uh, we're in my mobile home. We're getting ready to depart again. Missionaries as named <laughs> and by assignment. <laughs> It's kind of dark in here because <laughs> because know. I don't know how to turn the lights on because Bob does all that. <laughs> so but it's been awesome. But it's uh, been oh. an amazing few months, and um, yeah, we're excited to just come to you just to connect with you. Get coffee. Get coffee. Get <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Julie's. Got some words from the Lord. Can I tell them? Yeah. Okay. So, not all of you know. I know probably some of you, a lot of people started working again too and they're asleep right now. Most, yeah. of, most of Arizonians <laughs> yes. are Kingmanites. Um, Linda is going to be coming to your area yes. um, like the next two weeks, right? Yes. We'll be there for a few days, but then we're headed out on a trip uh, with my cousin and Rick. Uh, we're going to Bryce Canyon, Zion, and Yellowstone, and then back to Kingman by the 13th of September. So between yes. there and the 20th, somewhere in there, I'll let you know for sure, uh, we'll be there for a while. So, so get with her. Yes. Uh, she wants to do a lily um, gathering or Would love to prayer pray meeting. I talked to Just... Crystal. I think she's the only one I talked with mm -hmm. and did some mentoring and counseling or coaching, I like to call it. But um, so she is excited. So if you want to get with Linda, contact Linda and it, it's going to be awesome. God's going to do some amazing things and she can yes. keep you up to date on everything that's right, happening. Right. Cause there's just too much to just, to just tell. message me and uh, we'll, we'll figure something out when we get there. Yeah. And so this morning, what we wanted to do before I said, you know, we have to do another live before you head out on the road because, um, I just felt it was important for her to connect with you before she gets there. And also we want to pray. We want to do some prayers, some, uh, just share some things that are on the Lord's heart and, um, just some things that are coming up. A lot of you know that Chelsea's graduation. Yay! Yes. 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 Um, she's doing, she's going to be doing go. a third year now, but, I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> but she's only allowed to invite two people. And I just feel honored that she invited me to come to her graduation and also her mom. So we are going to be doing that. I'm leaving the 2nd so cool. of September mm -hmm. to, for Florida and I'll be there till the 6th. I don't even know what I'm doing. Because our ca the academy starts at, se uh, at 7. 7. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll be in Florida. So pray for uh, Chelsea. Continue to pray for her. And we're really excited what God's doing in her life. Yes. And pray for her mom and her brothers and sisters. And um, just pray for her family. Because you know the enemy, he likes to come in and attack. And let me just, I want to say something about that really quick. Because... <laughs> yeah. Even though I just feel this weighty presence right now, I really want to say, you know what? If if the enemy has been attacking you lately, like increasing, because there's been a, yesterday a was like a, the ambush of hell just came against me yesterday, and yes. Merlene has been going through her thing with her surgeries She's, and things yes. that I haven't really had. Just, you know, I'm trying to be there for her, and so the yes. Lord began to speak to me, and I He reminded me of um, this. This will bless you. Remind me of a sermon. Uh, that it was birthed out of an encounter I had. And the encounter I had, y'all remember this was, uh, it was like the scene of Wizard of Oz. Yes. And he took me in and he showed me this big, huge, like a wizard and I was standing there and he walked me around the back and opened up the back of the curtain and That's showed amazing. me this little imp <laughs> that was working this. And he spoke to me and he said, this is bigger than, this is, to you, this is bigger than what it really is. And you've created this whole scenario of something that's not even real. And so he birthed a sermon out of it that was called, This Is Just a Threat. So I just want to tell you that all the enemy knows how to do, sweethearts, is threaten. Yes. He doesn't have any power. <laughs> it's yes. just a threat. So whatever's come against you, uh, like yesterday with this ambush, whatever's come in, it's yes. just a threat. Right. That's all it is. And so yes. take it as such. You have the power to overcome. You're covered right. in the blood, and I'm going to share things about that. You awesome. know, you just interject where yes. you can because I know. <laughs> but I have some things that the Lord's put on my heart. It's as well. just a thought. It's just a thought. <laughs> just take it captive. Don't there you be go. afraid. Have another thought. Fear, fear, <laughs> fear is what stops everything. Yes, we've learned that. Yes. Yeah, God is so good. 
Wow. Thank yes. you, Lord. Um, so, Lord, let's just, um, I just feel to pray. I mean, yes. I've been up most of the night um, praying and interceding. Yes. The Lord woke me up. And so I know this has something to do with, yes. um, you know, there's times that I'll get up where, but this was like he woke me up in urgency. And it was about crossing over and it was about possessing the promised land. It was about stepping into my design. And so what God's doing in this wow, era, it was, I would, I've been up since from one to like four 30. Yeah. And that's why I like, up at three fifty. look like this. <laughs> three fifty eight. Okay. So, uh -huh. well, it was intense and he said, it's yeah, it was intense. basically, <laughs> yeah. And so I just received everything. I don't even know what I received really fully, but it had something to do with the key that he had given me. And I know we shared this with y'all, this key, give me this big key, this angel did. And it's concerning a certain city. I don't want to name it on here, but the city that has multiple cities within it. And I never even prayed for this place, but the Lord said, this is my inheritance. And so, uh, it was about that. But anyway, um, I just want to pray for you if that's you, because you know, hell is going to ambush you right now, right? They're going to, it's going to hell and it, the amps and the, and the principalities, they're going to try to come against you because they know that their time is short. They know that the King of glory is about ready to display his glory in the earth. Okay. What did I say? Um, array her and display her talking about the bride. Okay, he's getting ready to array her and display her yes. and present her because he's purifying her. And yes. so um, in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus, I thank, thank you, Jesus. Lord, that it's just a threat, Yes, which means nothing. I thank you, Lord, that you showed me. You took me around the back and it was a little imp. And even in Isaiah says, is this who uh, <laughs> to tor tor try to torment the nations? This, yes. this? Jesus. Yes. Okay, thank Jesus you. Christ, your living king. Yes. Okay, your warrior the king of glory stripped him of all of his weapons yes. he has nothing to fight with unless you give it to him don't give him a weapon don't give him a thought don't give him an act don't give him a deed don't give him something to work with because Amen. he has nothing unless you do Amen. and so i just speak right now freedom yes. and victory over yes. you right now it's just a threat yes. and sometimes yes. we create things an illusion that's so much bigger than it really really is yes. okay no more illusions we break that in the name yes. of jesus no yes. more illusions yes. no more fables that come to your mind thinking it's this or that no it's yes. it's this tiny not even that yes. and you know what he's Thank scared you, yes. he's scared because we, as the bride of Christ, the, the, the ecclesia of the, the Father, the government of God, the, the, the ones who know how to steward his goods well, the church, okay, we are rising, we are ascending, yes. and we are taking over. And he is very, very nervous right now. So don't yeah. give him the pleasure of seeing you sweat right now. Right. Don't give him the pleasure of seeing you get a little bit nervous right now. Right. Don't give him any glory. It doesn't belong to him. It That's belongs right. to Jesus alone. Yeah. And let yeah. Jesus know, Lord, I thank you that you gained me the victory. You have yes. overcome the world, even yes. our faith. Yes. And so I, I, yes. Ah! Yes. <laughs> this is where we're at right now. Because yes. we have to understand if we, we have to understand that the only thing that can really stop us from taking over from stepping into where we're called to be from stepping into our true design um that was given to us the intent of heaven before the foundation of the earth the only thing is ourselves the enemy uses what we give him yes okay our fears yeah. okay our unbelief our thoughts um the way we our perceptions our the way we th uh, yeah the way we think about something putting our hands to unrighteousness um uh, you know it could be there, that's why I always tell you lilies. Okay. Now listen to me, please. Yes. Okay. Come on guys. Come you on. are the prophet of your own life. Okay. If you are stewarding your life, well, wow. Let me just say that. And I'm not yeah. talking about possessing goods or possessing all. That's not what the way your life is measured. God said, right. It's about what you, even though like Paul said, I have nothing yet. I possess all things. Okay. I have nothing, but I possess all things. Why did he say that? Why did he say he has nothing, but he possesses all things? Why? Because he had the most important. Yes, because, <laughs> because he won Christ. That's right. He won Christ. <laughs> Be someone who wins Christ and yeah. the power of his resurrection. How do we do that? We count everything else as dung. We count everything else as dung. Yes. Okay. And... You know, the kingdom of heaven. The key, this is the age. God, I have so many journals here, but like some things <laughs> yeah. that God's... 
uh, yes, I haven't, you do. I haven't really, I've been spoke with a lot of you um, on Marco Polo. That's what we use. So it's been Marco yes, Polo, Marco Polo, app. like 25 of you for like um, two months now. I need to get so that app, huh? I told you. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry, guys. Okay. I'll get the app. Just being disobedient. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. Um, the Marco Polo, it's awesome. Marco Polo app because I'm able to stay connected with yes. you, which is very, it's very important to the yes. Lord. But yes. so now the, the, all these words that are, have been coming to me, they're coming out like a flood right now because the Lord wants you to know this is the era that we're in. It's yes. no longer just a, a seasonal thing yet. We do go through seasons. This is the decade we're living in. This is the decade yes. of the age of the kingdom of of heaven we are now fixing to see the kingdom of heaven yes come in like one of the lily lives i preached that come in like we are laying siege laying hold of the kingdom yes. we thought people thought we saw the kingdom before but in romans 14 17 i always get this mixed up the kingdom of heaven is righteousness of peace and joy in the holy ghost Romans 14, 17. I think I said on my video it was Romans 17. I don't know what. And sometimes I get the addresses mixed up. But anyway, <laughs> the kingdom of heaven is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. It's not meat and drink. And I think we've really, really uh, misunderstood the kingdom as the church for a lot of years because yes. we thought it was something that we, we were to access, you know, in goods and something we're going to, you know, access. And, and, and that could be part of it. I'm not sure. But I know what the Lord shared with me, that it's righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And so we have to have all those things and those things are fixing to push in hallelujah, to this realm. And this is what I want to read to you really, really quick. And then I'm going to let Linda interject. Uh, when we're talking, since we're talking about this threat that's happening, <laughs> don't receive the threat. It's just the threat, which means nothing. <laughs> so, um, your chosen perspective will either become your prison or your passport. Pay attention to me now in what you're walking through. And I talked to a couple of you really going through some really heavy stuff and we are praying for you. We are interceding yes. for you, but there's a difference, the kind of prayer that we're praying. Then, then what most will pray and say, okay, we'll pray for you. Let me tell you, we are, <laughs> let me just say, it's not that we're warfaring because if you truly know who you are, you really don't have to do much warfare. If you truly know the word of God, you yes. really don't have to do too, uh, too much warfare. It, it's, it's that place of rest and knowing who he is and who he's called you to be and what keys you have access to, uh, to understand that it's, that there's really no fight. I mean, to be honest, the fight, hallelujah, he already overcame Jesus. That's why he said he, he came to destroy the works of the devil. Okay? And yes, there's things that we have to work. The fight is with us. The fight is with us. We could become one of Satan's greatest weapons if we let him yes. take over. Oh, you yeah, I did saying? for many years. So <laughs> your chosen perspective will either become your prison or your passport. What's your perspective? What's your perception? Is your perspective coming from the word? Is your perspective coming from your situation? Uh-uh. Your circumstance? Uh-uh. Big mistake. Because yes. we don't go by the things we see. We go by what we know in our knower from the word of God. And so Which your chosen... you have to know. <laughs> you have to know, yes. Your chosen perspective will either become your prison or your passport. As with Paul and Silas praising in prison until the shackles were broken, your change will either break your praise or you will command your praise to break your chains as you use what is loose to shake what is bound. Right. Jesus. So your praise will bring you out, baby. Right. Your praise. I mean, look at yes. <laughs> Joe's hat. I mean, he set up the worshipers, God to the praisers, and, and look what happened. The enemy started destroying himself yes. because of the worship was so loud. There's something in that. There's a key in that. Your praise, your worship, your thanksgiving yes. um, will begin to turn the enemy back. And he'll begin to start being confused. Like, he's not going to understand why you're so happy. Right. Why are you so full of joy when you lost this or you're going through this or you're doing this? What's going on with you? You want to confuse hell? That's how you do it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So it's a, there's a holy invasion of the kingdom of heaven breaking in. And I'm yes. so excited about this because finally, I feel like the church, the bride, the body of Christ, the true bride of Christ is coming together. And I really feel it that over the waves, the same mm -hmm. message is opening up and we're going, oh yes, they're getting it. Yes. Yes. That's that's what, Finally. that's what we see yes okay yes it, it's it's coming it is it's and opening y'all were witnesses i mean oh my gosh 
<laughs> Sorry, it's morning. Y'all are, it's so crazy because having do with the lilies of the valley with the bride of Christ for so long, and, and y'all even witnessed the, 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 uh, at, right after I preached sermons or different things on the bride, how they would come against me and different yes. things would happen. And I was just teaching the word. I wasn't giving my opinion. But anyway, I'm bringing this up because I want you to understand when you come out in truth, which you know you've seen me walk through it, and how I responded to it, that is key. I always yes. responded in love. Yes. I always would make gifts and send them to them and bless them because yes. God told me uh, that Absolutely. you are a woman before your time. And that's what he told me. And so we have to bless those that persecute us and bless those that come against us for them, for, no, for us, yes. so that we can be free and continue right. to keep walking. Yes. And now I'm starting to see things that God showed me almost 30 years ago coming up. And I'm so beyond excited. <laughs> it's like I've been put to sleep for a while so that I could, you know, the, God would say, when, it, when the time comes, I'm going to give you the kiss of heaven and wake you up. And that's what happened. When I had to establish her vision three years ago for Lilies of the Valley, he woke me up and he said, it's time. And um, so anyway, uh, I just want you to understand that your enemy and how he's come against you, it's just a threat. And don't be moved by what you've, you've created in your own mind. Okay, I'm not saying there's not any real battle because there is. Come on now. Yes, right. The battle is it's intense. I understand yes. all that. I've been through some heavy, like I said yesterday, it was just so thick coming against me. It was like, even when my sister, we were in the truck, it was like, man, and I just kept, you know, praying. And, and it was like, I could literally hear hell saying, you will not possess this. You will not step into what you're supposed to step into. And I just kept fighting. I just right. kept saying, you are a liar because it's not for me, it's for Jesus Christ and he's my husband and he's the king of kings and he's bigger than you. <laughs> well, and the fighting is taking the time to to answer Satan when he comes. To... <laughs> I wish I were in the truck at that time. That would have been fun. Thinking... <laughs> I was thinking really quick before you say something. <laughs> it's almost okay. like those, those kids that know their dad on the playground. My daddy's bigger than you. Yeah, that's right. He's going to kick yeah. your booty. That's right. <laughs> that's what it feels like. You, just, feels you have like. this confidence right. Right. in who your daddy is, who your father God is, who yes. Jesus is, and who the Holy Ghost is. Yes. This is the difference. Sorry, you, go ahead. You've well, got to know who who you are doing? and get past the physical... <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry. Thank you, Jesus. It's all right. I love the joy. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sore from doing CrossFit. I'm like, I can't even open my coffee. <laughs> yeah, this, I this, started CrossFit. Six months of intense training. You know, <laughs> I, new life, new day, new way. You know, when new she everything. gets something, I get it too. And it, the discipline part is, oh, that is so hard. Well, y'all, like... When in Arizona, I do uh, the pound class. You guys know. I tried to get some of you to go to the pound class. I did pound class three days a week, and it kept me maintained. Well, I'm going to be 50 this year, and I'm so excited. Woo! My girlies are throwing me a big 50th uh, rejuvenation jubilee party, and I can't wait. That's awesome. But you, when you start getting up there, you have to <laughs> do something different. And so... Uh, yeah. My friend Will is like, you gotta do CrossFit, Julie. Oh my God! So I went in there and I was all these buff people. And I'm like, I don't want to look like some big buff dude. <laughs> and he's like, No, no. My trainer, he's like, No. Okay, look. Talk about hot fifty. This is what we're gonna do. And I'm like, Okay. <laughs> and man, he about killed me yesterday. So anyway, six months of that. Pray for me. Pray yes. for me. Yes. Pray for me. But she doesn't give up. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't. I can't. And I'm committed. I'm committed now, so it's too late. That, uh, that, that, yeah. that body thing, that that fit, that yeah, that flesh thing. Remember? Yeah, it, it gets in there, right? But you know what? The Lord, like you guys know, and I've always said this. Yes. Fasting, um, taking care of your body. You know, um, that's why I, probably every three months I do a 40-day fruit and vegetable. Anyway. The Lord's always showed me that because it, it purifies and it cleanses the skin, yes. the body. But when yes. the Lord calls you to a fast, it's really, really important. But if he, if he hasn't told you to fast, don't do it. Exactly. Because you can fast be... like other people. <laughs> He's like, 
I didn't add, I didn't tell you to fast. I'm like, oh, okay. No. And <laughs> we've we've had major teachers go on a Daniel fast, and I'm going, I didn't get that memo. Did you get that memo? No, I didn't get that memo. So which is okay because there's times don't do it if you're not supposed to because you can get really sick. Yeah, and there's times that like. He'll tell you to fast, like yes, like yeah, he'll have me go on a fast yes. or something in the morning. But anyway, um, yes, take care of your your body. It's really really important. Spirit, soul, and body very important. Discipline. Even if it means uh, discipline, torture. <laughs> discipline has really been a big deal because of this physical flesh cries out. Well, when the devil comes, what cries out the loudest? Mm. So you have to tell this <laughs> physical body. To praise God, you have to tell your mind to get on board with Jesus. Mm. You have you you your your rejuvenated spirit will has to tell your body and your mind to respond to Jesus. Yes. So if you really want to fight the devil, that's how you do it. If you have to stomp and scream and holler, okay, but you really don't because he's that big. Yeah. But you do have to respond properly. And in the intimate time with Jesus is what we have learned so vital. That time with him gives you the weapons that you need to fight the devil. Yes. And also, too, remember, we're not fighting, like she said, we're not fighting with flesh and blood. Right. And so there's another key factor, too, and I know I did one of these videos on the anointing and what the anointing really is and the fatness of the anointing breaks yes. the yoke. Sometimes the enemy will send yokes against us, but you have to remember that one of the, oh my goodness, catalyst um, <clears throat> natures and also of God is the breaker. And that's that, yes. that paper I gave you a couple yes. months ago. The breaker, the remember anointing. that. And I felt like oh. I wanted to talk about this this morning because the breaker wow. anointing, okay, that is... it's part of, it's it's a catalyst deposit of the Holy Spirit where eternity breaks through the natural realm. Yes. And it's this holy invasion where the gates of heaven are open. Yes. And I know I taught on this before, Lilies, but I think this is the time to really understand the breaker part of God. His presence, the anointing. Yes breaks and destroys the yoke yes. how the more fat we get in his presence the more anointing all those bondages they can't hold us no. nothing can hold us yes. if we are in his presence in the anointing there's not one thing that can hold us not a bad thought it right. just leaves right because right. we're in his presence we're in that right. anointing yes. and so in micah 2 13 the one who breaks open jesus come on <laughs> will come up before them they will break out pass through the gate and go out by it their king will pass before them with the Lord at their head. So what this is saying is out one of God's names in the Bible is actually the breaker. And what happens is he sends forth that anointing to go before you. And when that anointing goes before you, it breaks all those things. You ever, you ever experienced that? You could have, like yesterday, I told you with that battle. I just got up in his presence. Even though I heard that dark, <laughs> whatever it was saying that to me i told merlene and and you know what's so amazing about that is pay attention to what's what's happening to you yes. pay attention to what's going on yes. not only from the light but from the dark you better understand what i'm saying because you have to have the wisdom and what the enemy is doing you have yes. to have the wisdom and what's what he's orchestrating and so when he gets really really scared he'll start threatening you like that and so getting up yes. in his presence i played that one cd from north carolina uh with the Oh, the, uh, I can't yes, remember her name. Yeah. Um, wow, Connor, uh, uh, Elizabeth Connor. Yeah, and I turned. Yeah, I think yes, so. Elizabeth I turned Connor. it up and I just said, "Lord, I worship you." Yes. And of course, this presence was still. It has kind at, of a Lord, I worship breaker, you. Breaker atmosphere. He can't about stand it. it. <laughs> he can't stand it, and yes. especially when you start reading in the Word. Get out yes. the Bible and start reading the Word or quoting scriptures. He hates it, and yes. so it's just a threat. Let the breaker come up, and that's what happened. It broke it off. It broke it completely off, and then, of course, I went to CrossFit. <laughs> uh, broke it completely off. So this type of anointing will break through every obstacle yes. and hindrance of the furtherance of the gospel. So it brings in the kingdom. It yes. shakes off every shackle loose that holds individuals yes. uh, back. <laughs> and I know you've I've taught on this with you before. So this is this is that one I gave you a few months Me ago. And then reminders. You got, um, yeah, it, it stops you from coming. It, 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 the enemy yes. will try to stop you from coming into your destiny and yes. your inheritance.
Yes. And what happens here is Jesus promises that the kingdom of heaven, though suffers violence, we take it by force. The breaker anointing yes. is the core anointing of the apostolic church for advancement. The kingdom of heaven is advancing. The yes. kingdom of heaven is advancing. Okay. Yes. It's always advancing. But the key is, is it advancing in your life, in your sphere of influence, in your realm? Um, is it advancing where you're at? If it's not, something is wrong. Something is off kilter there. You agree? Yes. Something is off kilter yes. because it should be when you're in his presence, yes. when you're in his, his will. Yes. So your thought processes or how you're dealing with the enemy, how you're dealing with your flesh, how you're dealing with life around you, how you're dealing with current situations, political. Look at how you're dealing with it. Is it like Jesus would have you deal with it? Yeah, are you getting that, um, hearing his voice? Are you, uh, are you getting instruction from the Lord? Right. And, you know, and it's really, really important. And it's on one of the Lily lives, I think, that people oftentimes, they don't get the counsel of the Lord before they do something. Big mistake. You need to get the counsel of God, which we've been learning on the seven spirits Lord's, of God, yeah, the bride yes. of glory. But um, the Lord's always shown me about the seven spirits of God and how important they are. But this counsel is really, 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 really vital right now. They, yes. they work together and I understand all that, but the council Lord, see some, see a lot of us have start have been moving in these, these flames have been moving and not knowing what they were. Right. I mean, I, I've always heard the Lord's voice, always had the council. Always, and I'm yes. not saying that pridefully. I just didn't know what it was. I just yes. knew I love Jesus and I'm just going forward and no devil in hell is going to stop me because I found out I'm his bride. He put a ring on my finger. He said, marry me. I did. I'm his wife. Now I'm learning how to bear his children. Just like you guys know, this is what God's calling you into. So yes. when you get in that realm, you come up here and you're in that realm. Yes. It's like you, you don't really know exactly what you're moving in. You just know you've become it. You just know this is who you are. Yes. And so learning all this stuff, I'm like, wow, okay, that's what that is. Okay, that's what that is. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been, okay. You know, and so it's, it's good because mm -hmm. I need to know that. You know what I mean? I need to understand what I'm moving in so that I can relay it and build ones, lilies, after your own kind, yes. right? Because they look yes. at me sometimes and I'm like, how does she know that? Uh, yes. I, I was just, <laughs> that was, uh, how does she, how can she read my heart? Yeah, yeah how did you know that? Yeah. All that has to do with this. <laughs> that's <to> right. <laughs> I just didn't know it. You know, when the Lord first called me an apostle, which I believe I move in all five, which I teach, and I think that we all should, the church should move in all five, whatever the Holy Spirit needs in that season, in that moment, in that time. Yes. Um, when he first said, you are my apostle, <laughs> and the lightning bolts came down in San Diego on me, lightning bolts from heaven. I'm like, what's an apostle, Lord? <laughs> yeah, what's that? What's I that? read it in the Bible, but what is an apostle? I don't even know. <laughs> and so anyway, I, I searched it out. But I'm just saying, there's things that you're not going to understand there's things that um, the Lord will begin to reveal to you, especially if you start moving in this realm. He'll start revealing things to you. Yes. And and the the it'll be so accurate. Um, like oh, I just feel like I'm supposed to share this. Remember when uh, I went to Colorado with Lori to go see my grandbabies, or Lori, yeah. Amber, Amber, my daughter. Yes. Um, not my sister, my daughter. Uh, and when I was in Colorado with her at the hotel, I need to share this. I feel like God's telling me to share this because they need to really see how the accuracy of his voice yes um is it's heightened right now let me tell you it's so heightened right now and it's so important for what we're moving into to hear him clearly and correctly um so i was in the hotel he's and of course you know in the mornings i go outside in the field or wherever i'm at and just worship i was out there talking to the lord and the father the father god came down to me Okay, I can't explain it. I know the difference between the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Who's ever speaking? I don't know how. I just do. So he came and he said, it's time. And I was like, okay, it's time. And I didn't understand what that meant. And I called you and Merlene, and God gave me a whole prophecy for Rome. Remember? that? And I yes. called and I shared everything with you all. and Because the Lord told me to share it with just you two, no one else. And this was when, right when this whole... Um, uh, this was in March, I think. This yeah, is right think. before this started. Yes. This uh, we Corona. Like, yeah. Well, we, anyway, Rona, devil, We don't whatever. even want to name it. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I didn't know what that meant. And I had a dream two weeks prior to that. And the dream was, uh, actually, he shot me out of bed at 111. And he said, go to Guam. Remember 111. Yeah. And I'm like, 111's transition, go to Guam. I said, Lord, do you want me to go to Guam? <laughs> I'm like, why am I going to Guam? 
<laughs> and I didn't understand because I knew I was in a transition, you know, and, and um, there's a transition going on. And, and so um, we weren't sure what it was. And then um, I went back to sleep and I, w I wrote, wrote it in my journal, went back to sleep. I woke up that morning and some of you know this, but not all of you. Um, and the Lord, Holy Spirit said, I'm like, Guam, Lord, okay. And I just told him, yes, I would go. And then um, I looked up Guam and the literal <laughs> meaning and definition of Guam is Georgia. And it's Georgia, Ukraine. So, and I looked up the word Ukraine and it means region of land. And he said, go to Joppa. I, it was Georgia. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to Georgia. So this is why I came here because the spirit of the Lord told me. So the next day, that's when he said it's time. And Amber and Melissa were there and he said, go now. And so I said, okay. And so I came and now I can see why the Lord has me here. But yes. that was such a, it wasn't like I had uh, too much of a riddle for me. You know what I'm saying? It's time. And then he gave me that dream and it was yeah. just like, uh, and that's how he'll do it. He'll even take you in steps for you to understand. And that's right. how you gain greater revelation and you gain greater understanding yes. in the counsel of the Lord, because you're listening to what he's saying to you. And you're also discovering treasures in it. You're also saying, wow, you know, I mean, it's like you're a prospector in the spirit. I love it's it. It's not like you went, got a ticket and went to Guam. <laughs> no, you, you, no, 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 you, you have to. You, 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 you. Guam you literally meant counsel. Georgia. You, you, because that wasn't the confirmation. You didn't get a confirmation that, to get a ticket to go to Guam. No, no, you that's right. You searched out. What asking and, the Lord, Lord, what else is there? There's something there that still don't understand. Yeah. So it's like presence that the Holy Spirit will yes. uncover and he'll right. open for you. If you just ask the Holy Spirit, it's just, Amazing. Oh, and y'all know we can't live without the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Amazing. He is everything. <laughs> yes. He is everything. Okay. He will lead you and guide you and direct you and wow there's I can't say enough about that but there's so much that God is taking us into to learn yes. to hear more clearly I felt like I was supposed to share that because maybe some of you are getting things that you don't quite understand research and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal yes. to you what God is saying yes. he speaks in riddles he speaks yes. in I mean <laughs> there's I there's a, there's a million of those it's things a part of the seeking he speaks to us to keep seeking yeah you got to keep asking keep seeking because he, that that's why he gave parables because it's in the treasures and the mysteries are for the people that will keep seeking and keep asking and, and especially we, you know, i did a, i did a i did a write-up on it on the lily board the lord's been starting to give me a few things here and there which is very exciting and it, as julie was talking about the breaker and and the anointing and and how the lord puts things in pieces i don't know if you remember in one of our lily soakings, um, I saw that the Lord had given me a sword <laughs> because I'm the sword. Ooh, it's hot in here. It, it is. Okay. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> My husband turned everything on <laughs> for me. I don't know. We wanted to do it in the motorhome so yes. y'all could see her motorhome. Well, it's, it's huge. It's the Holy Ghost. Too. <laughs> yes. And the coffee. And the coffee. And morning is rising <laughs> to this wonderful humidity that keeps your uh, skin so soft. I've been up all night, though. It's just uh, cold. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so the Lord uh, gave me the sword. But one day when we were we were praying, I saw myself standing there holding the sword like this. Mm. And I was hitting the ground. I was tapping the ground. And, and it was breaking. But... It was tapping the ground and I had no idea. It's like, Lord, what did you mean by that? What am I breaking up? <laughs> you know <what> I mean, <laughs> so, uh, so that came, she gave me the write up on the breaker anointing. And we went to, um, a conference. It was North Car South Carolina. Was it South Carolina? Yes. With okay. the Gary Beaton. Okay. And Gary Beaton talked about the breaker anointing. And oh, I yeah. Went, whoa. She freaked out. Whoa. Whoa. Cause so everywhere I go, every time I pray, <clears throat> the Lord is using that breaker anointing to break things up. Yes. And I know that there's a shaking. We get kind of, shaking is different from the breaking. Mm -hmm. And so you need to know that when I'm praying for you, 
I may not know your specific circumstance because I don't have that seer thing right now. But I do, I will, he will bring your face. He will bring um, <clears throat> some things to me. But mostly it's for you to seek the Lord in what you're dealing with. Yeah. Because you can't get what you need from us. That's right. You can get the instruction. We go get instruction. But yeah. that's not... If, if I don't go to Christ Come on personally, one-on-one -on -one with him, it's going to be so superficial. My, my light's not going to be lit, and I'm not going to be walking. That's right. I'm going to be sweeping up things <laughs> instead of getting what he wants me to have. And you know, when, when the Lord sent me out here, I know what you feel like, guys. <laughs> I love this woman. <laughs> Woman of God, she's she's just she's awesome. Brian, our teacher, is awesome. But if I don't go straight to Jesus and let the Holy Spirit do what he needs to do in me, it's nothing. Yeah. So you know, I was sent out here, missed her terribly, miss you guys, miss Yes, we miss you so miss much. Hugging you. The gatherings and, and, and the, the gatherings <laughs> and those experiences out here. <laughs> but you can have the same thing in the intimate that's right secret place and that's what jesus is trying to get us to yes is to is to set in the secret place because that's what he made us for that's right so um, and that's why I hammered into you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. She Mary taught us that, him. guys. Yes. I mean, when you went through the year training him, and you had him. the wedding and the banquet <laughs> and all that and the <laughs> consecrational baptismals, all that was for a purpose to get you to be with him, to become yes. one with him. And you went through the process yes. of, of those things. And so now it's time for you to uh, recreate. It's yes. time for you to go out yes. and find those. Who, and <laughs> so that's what we want you to understand. And Linda going out to set another fire under you yes. so that you. You can go out and begin to make and recreate the species of yes. after his own kind after That's the right. kind of Jesus which That's is the right. bride of Christ That's right. and so when you look at the bride you should be able to see her husband Jesus. Right. Jesus the true bride and the true husband they look a lot alike okay they're like one they yeah. They're like twinsies, they uh, heavenly twinsies. They reflect each other. Yes, right, they reflect right. one another. <clears throat> and it should be that way even in the marriage a marriage on the earth. Just it, like Bob like, and I. Yeah, just like Bob and, <laughs> and Linda. So be encouraged in that. <laughs> yes, and, um, please. Because people are going to be doing the same thing to you that you do to those that you admire. Mm. And you can't let them. Wow. You need, you need to... Turn their eyes to Jesus. Yes. You, you, that's a must. You yes. must. And and that's what the duplication is for. That's it's right. for Jesus. Jesus. It's and, all for his glory. Uh, and he's looking for that leadership in you. <laughs> he's looking for that. It's like we, we learned that the bride of Christ is like a little puzzle pieces. Tiny just puzzle piece. We're our own little puzzle piece that he chisels out. Have you ever made a puzzle? That he chisels out to fit exactly where he needs mm. you to fit in the bride of Christ. Amen. And he's making that wow. puzzle piece. Get mm. ready and let <laughs> him make that puzzle piece. Yeah. It's so important. Yeah. I can't be here where I am unless I let him make me that puzzle piece. That's right and being pliable and being, that's yes. right you know he told us pack up all your stuff store it <laughs> rent out your house you've got a motor home cool this is what it's for well it hasn't been without problems that's let me right. tell you <laughs> oh and battles and yeah a lot of problems a lot of heartache yes and 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 i and i resisted saying why it's just like lord Show yourself faithful. I'm waiting. Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm going to just see you be faithful with us, Lord. And I'm excited. So, well, I think I'm glad you shared that because, Lilies, it's really, really important. And I don't know if some anyone else is watching this, but it's really, really important. 
for you to see and to understand that we go through battles too. I, I yes, want to tell them what absolutely. happened to me. Okay, so when we yes. went to North Carolina, we did the lily trip. A lot of you didn't get to hear from, unless the other lilies told you, I don't know. But we did a lily trip. We went to North Carolina in obedience to the Lord. He spoke to us to go. Yes. And we had just come back from, so we're like, okay, a week later, we're going to go again. But uh, anyway, the Lord had given me a new name. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, Okay, so my new name is Joy Lee, which Joy is Lee? the joy and the oil. oil. And people call me Oil Goyle or um, I can't remember the weeping, the weeping, weeping thing. Weeping. Anyway, Weeping yeah. Willow. And so now yeah. it come together. And so when I, I cried for two and a half, I was like in the car crying. But the Spirit of God like, transformed me from the inside <laughs> out. Well, let me tell you the battle that what came on this What do you pray name. when you see this, right? <laughs> So literally, God said, this is new. It's a new day. It's a new day. This is a new day. Yes. So I took it on. And so we're in the car. I mean, we had the bonfire that night. We yes. were completely wrecked. But anyway, yes, absolutely. the Lord, and we had, you know, some angelic hosts show up and stuff. So, yes. But this is the battle on that. Anytime things like that happen, always understand that Satan is mad. He and really so was I came angry. home. <laughs> and, I, you know, I've been fixing up my room and everything. And so I came home. The Lord said, this is where I'm going to be. So I... um I have this thing my daughter gave me live with intention and it had my name on it and the Lord said that's not your name anymore change put the new name on there the so I name. put Joy Lee Joy on there Lee. <laughs> yes. okay now this is what happened so um, during the wedding I was like the enemy did not like that because that picture was like it I have so many other pictures in my room but it kept falling and yes. so we put yeah. my sister from <laughs> from California Lori you guys know her from San Diego she said you Julie you need to put these um, hooks on it and I had like 15 different kinds of things the, on the, there hooks the, and everything the, yeah the no mar kind of stuff where it won't ruin the wall yeah I'm like this is not coming off the wall and she's like Julie this is not coming off the wall so I go to my daughter Destiny's and stay for a week because they went on their honeymoon yes and with my grandbabies <laughs> and so there's a huge storm I mean, yes. the storms out here are scary. I yeah, was like, boom, the whole house is we, shaking. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Arizona gets monsoons, but the storms, it's like it sits over the top of your house. It's, I was like, <laughs> ah, it, but it really feels like the end of the world to me because I'm not <laughs> used to these intense. kind of storms. But anyway, um, long story short, I come home and, you know, I've got my desk and everything ready, fixed up in the room because we're getting ready to do the academy. Do and the so academy. I have my laptop. I yes. haven't even, I don't even open my laptop. I use my iPad for everything. And so brand new laptop. I have hardly ever used it. The picture had fallen and completely crushed the crushed laptop. It. Crushed it. Okay. This, this little. The new name crushed the laptop. <laughs> and I'm like, and I, and I open, I'm mean, have a warranty, a year warranty on it. And it's good till the May 2021. But I called but, them and they said, it doesn't, it doesn't cover internal cracks. And so I called somewhere else and it's like $350, $400 to repair it. And I need it for the for schooling school. on the 7th. Because it's a you lot know? harder <laughs> to do it on the little, which I will have to do on the tablet for a month. I'm going to have to do it on my iPad. I don't know how this is going to work. But anyway, this is the kind of stuff. The enemy is so mad. He's, he's really I mean, so <laughs> mad that, that he did that. And so I was just like. At first, I, I would be honest, I was like a little bit heartbroken because I'm like, okay, what does this mean, Lord? You know, we always try to figure those things out. And the Lord yeah. just spoke to me and he said, he's crushing the old. I don't understand that. But with the new name, everything's new. Yes. But I just want to encourage you. Yes. The enemy's going to use whatever he can to get at you. Yes. Okay. Whoever he can yes. and whatever he can in your life. And just be encouraged and know, you know, God supplied yes. the money. Right. Um, to to fix it, and so I'm gonna take it in and have it fixed. Hopefully, I have yes, two trips Jesus. to Florida and somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance, but I have to take it to Marietta to do that. But for because HP. But anyway, long story short, understand that everything he's gonna use everything he's he can to come against yes. what God is doing. Yes. Be encouraged. And then we had the breaker anointing. We're gonna do the waker anointing now. Remember the second one? Yes. I gave you? The waker anointing. Anointing, the anointing of God is very, very powerful. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because yes. He has anointed me. Well, yes. the anointing has to come first in order That's for right. the Spirit of the Lord to come on you. So there's a, there's many, I can't go, that's too long to go into right now. And I know we've been on here a while. And there's so much in God's Word, guys. Ah, there's so much. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> so <clears throat> the waker anointing, it says, Moreover, the Word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Then the Lord said to me, you have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. Jeremiah 1, 11, 12. We all have heard that and know that. 
So to be ready, what does it mean to be ready? When God says, I am ready to perform my word. When God tells you, look, I'm ready. Uh, they don't have nothing to do with what's going on with you. If he says he's ready, he's ready. That's right. Okay, so <laughs> the Lord says, you've seen well, so you, you saw something. I'm ready to perform my word, Jeremiah, okay? So ready means, and shaka in the Strong's 8245 number, okay? 8245, shaka. It means watching, waking, hastening, anticipating, to be sleepless, to be alert, sleepless, sleepless, last night. sleepless yeah. alert, vigilant, on the lookout, to watch for carefully. So God is doing that with you right now in this time yes. in this season, the waker and it. Everybody's <laughs> talking about it, the awakening. And it's not yes. just something they're talking about. So the, the, the major prophets that have, their words have come to pass. There's a great awakening right now. Yes. So step into that. And the, the earth is just really travailing and shaking. And we yes. felt it What last year we shared about the, the gold and the, go the shaking coming. Shaking. Yes. Um, there was a prophetic word that came to the lilies. We were to step back because the shaking was coming. And we obeyed God and we did it. And look where we're at now. We don't even understand if it. If we but would have scheduled anything, we're obedient. it would have well, been, it been really bad. Yes. <laughs> and my heart is to schedule. And the, this huge gathering that God's put on my heart, this gathering of the bride of Christ is coming. It's going to be sometime next year. I don't know, but it's going to be massive. And so the, we're preparing for that. But at the same time, he wouldn't let us do any scheduling. We no. had to step back. We couldn't, we, right. we canceled everything. People got mad at me yes. because they needed that. And, and, and I understood that, but I had to obey the Lord. He said, step back and recalibrate. Don't do nothing. And I did. And I'm so glad that I did. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so Psalms 127 verse one, unless the Lord guards the city, the watchmen stay awake in vain. Wow. wow. Yeah. Jeremiah thirty one twenty eight, And it shall come to pass that as I have watched over them to pluck up, to break down, to throw down, to destroy, and to afflict, so I will watch over them to build and to plant, says the Lord. Wow. So he's watching over his word, but he's plucking up. He's building. He's planting. He's doing all these things. Some of the things we don't really understand. He's doing them. So God's promise is to watch over his people with an intent to build and to plant. The present reference may, okay, this is very important, may, may best be understood by uh, the connection between waking, which is a waking of the shakat, and almond, which is shakat in Hebrew. So they they both have the same kind of meaning. It's kind of twofold. You have to go deeper to understand it. So the almond is considered the waker, the awakening. The awakening. Wow. Yeah. In and, Hebrew and, thought, and but and because, yes. Yes, yes, because it of all trees blossoms early, watching diligently for the opportunity to bloom. Is This is the almond, okay? So in verse 11 and 12, the linking of this vision of an almond branch and its interpretation is very, very clear. So this is why I felt to give this to the leaders yes. um, a few months ago. I don't, it was longer than that, I it's think. It's been, no, it's, it's been, been it's been longer, but it, you got the revelation. Be, it was before uh, we we went out here. The second okay, time, then. So. so I don't remember yes. a lot of stuff. But anyway, it's all for purpose and reason. Everything God does is pr just be obedient, keep yes. walking forward. And I love this um, this uh, little uh, just to share this because this is kind of like who we are. But it's like a, a a blow blow up thing. I used to give my kids that had the the sand in the bottom of it, and you keep hitting it, and it keeps popping back up. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is kind of who we are, but the difference is, is we're walking forward. We're moving forward. And each time we're getting hit, we're coming right back up. We're coming right back up because it doesn't stop us. Exactly. We're immovable. Right. We exactly. are from a king, a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Yes. And that's why I said, the Lord, the shaking all around us, yet the glory remains. Yes. What does that mean? That's where your position is. Where are you positioned? Are you right. positioned in the shaking? Nope, not me. I'm up above it, baby. This is <laughs> yeah. where we live and dwell and move and have our being is in God in Christ you know? and in the spirit. <laughs> and so we are yes. above all this stuff. Yes. Okay. This is one of the greatest times in history. Yes. I mean, I can go on and on Absolutely. and on and on and on and on, and on oh, about just so much <laughs> words that are coming even, to pass. Even more that we've so, been learning. So it's just so, <laughs> so awake unto righteousness. Yes. Do not sin. This is first Corinthians 15, 34. Very, be very, very careful where you put your eyes, your members, yes. what you say, your hands. Do yes. not sin. What I shared yesterday for some do not have the knowledge of God. And I speak this to your shame. Get to know who he is. Yes. Get to know who he is. Keep your hands, keep your hands, keep your life, keep your vessel, keep your body, yes. keep all your thoughts, keep everything away from darkness. You yes. have to. 
You have, you have to. to. It'll be costly. Shun um, evil. I, I shared shun, yesterday. Wasn't it? That, yeah, shun evil. Right? Yes. Uh, what was it yesterday? Do you have it on your phone? I can't remember. Um, it was Proverbs. Um, the Lord actually reminded me of that. Um, and uh, it's, I think it's on the Lily page. But anyway, it talks about, we, we, we have so much sickness that's rampart in the body of Christ. If we would just understand that the word of God is health to our navel and moral to our bones. And so I'm not saying if you're, if you're not suffering with sickness, because I don't want to bring offense to anybody. Yeah, Proverbs 3, but um, this is one of our Lily uh, staple passages for Lilies of the Valley. Um, it's Proverbs 3, 7 and 8. Anyway, it says, uh, do not be wise in your own eyes. Uh, seek the Lord and shun evil. Shun evil. Yes. Will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. When you shun evil, you stay healed. Yes. When you shun evil, the healing comes. The nourishment from God comes. It's very, very important to understand this because a lot of people don't understand this. They don't get this. Um, let me just... Uh, there you go. Uh, turn from evil, choose life. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. That I'm really, really going to stick on because I'm always telling y'all to read and stay in the word. At the same time, become the word. Yes. Eat the word. Yes. Eat the scroll. Become yes. the word. Because it's health to your navel, more to your bones. But it's also bre the bread of heaven that gives you that nourishment. And <clears throat> I think in this time and this season... Oh, what happens when we get off in the word and we start taking on all these things and we start getting sick and we start, you understand what I'm saying? And yes. I know that there's real sickness. Please understand me. You know, people have told me even at times they would listen to the word of God, like on CDs and they would start to get better and start to be this because yes. that's what the word of God does. Yes. That's what the word of the Lord does. And I've shared this with you guys before. I think I ended it in my last video when I was uh, preaching on Ezekiel or speaking on Ezekiel. Yes. And how the coal would come to purify. Yes. That the fear <clears throat> of God is coming to the earth again. Yes. In a way that you do not understand, sweetheart. Yeah. Because there is a remnant called Zion that God is, he set aside. He set aside a remnant. Don't think he doesn't have a remnant. He set aside the bride, the remnant yes. that will move and live in the fear of the Lord. And I said that the fear of the Lord is coming to the earth again. And so this is why we have to shun evil. This is why we have to stay away, keeping our hands uh, to unrighteousness, our, our, our words. It's not what, what goes in us doesn't defile us. It's what comes out of us, the, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so be yes. very careful what you're saying. You are the prophet of your own life. I can't say that enough. What's coming out of you is very, very important. Life um, and death is in your tongue. Yes, and the <laughs> life and death is in your tongue. And so let's pray. Um, I'm not see what time it is. It's 9.53. Oh, <clears throat> well, we good. have a few minutes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to pray. Um, I felt like I was supposed to read this on the anointing really quick. I wrote <laughs> this in 2003. This will encourage you. Because, um, you know, my writings are, it's just a little poem <laughs> about the anointing. Cool. <laughs> Since we're talking about the anointing. Yeah, I okay. know what happens <clears throat> when I get anointed. <laughs> You got smeared. I did. Okay. <laughs> so um, I did too. Okay. Maura Cirillo. Okay. I started with Maura Cirillo um, School of World Evangelism. That's where I come from. And when I went up on the stage for when I got launched out, he poured a bottle of oil all over me. And, you know, he's with Jesus right now. I know. He's, but he's my was my first father of the faith. Um, love him dearly, but he poured oil all over me. I mean, I had oil and I had, I wore an, a new suit and everything. So it was kind of, like, <laughs> but I mean, I was just so blessed and honored it was sacrificed. to be, yeah, to be, um, had to have the oil all over me, but I did not expect that. Okay. And here I'm in front of all these people and this oils was all over me and, and my hair and my suit and everything. And, but it, it was glorious. The Lord knew what he was doing. So, but yeah, and you got... <laughs> I remember when Barb got, <laughs> she had like her hair was all full of oil <laughs> and her hair kept producing oil. It kept producing oil. I mean, oil. she was, just the like oil the was. symbol of how that she was yes. walking. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, wow, that's great because that was the crown. Wow. Yes. Okay. So, wow. All right. So 2003, I, got, I know we got to move on so we can pray. Don't hate me because I'm anointed. First line. Yes. He has anointed me that he may anoint you. He has visited me that he may visit you. 
He has won me that he may win you. Amen. He has revealed himself yes. to me that he may reveal himself to <clears throat> you. So let him come in and change a few things. Then you will see what his resurrection power brings. He said that the world would hate you because it hated him first. And those that are against you only have a lack of thirst. So go forth within the standard of truth and don't accompany those who are without excuse. I will raise you up in the midst of their doubt. Then they will see what I'm all about. Don't fret for the evil that will come, for it will never find its place around my son. And you, as you send forth his name, you will never have to play Satan's game. Deception will not arrive within your walls, nor can it creep in to pollute your mind. You see, you are birthed of a different kind, within the seed line, at a better time. For this is the day of the Lord's power, and you are the word... You are the one with the word for the hour, a woman of the most delicate flower from the garden of love created for me in the form of a dove that found its place from above. So stand and arise with the glory of my presence and reveal my plans for my body to regain its lost potential. Go and I will fulfill the cooing of your heart's beat as you never leave the heavenly place where you have found your seat. Uh, abide in my secret pavilion and there will be a way of escape for you have found this holy truth for Christ's sake. As you go and take vengeance for every stake, remember that I have chosen you to live in the brightest day. That's you, the flower, the woman, the lily, the lily of the valley, which is the bride of Christ in the earth. And so um, that poem is that poem kept me in 2003. It kept me. And I read it every now and again to remind myself, this is who I am and this is where I'm going. Yeah. Prophet of your own life. The words that God gives you to speak over yourself. And yes. so I just want to pray that you would understand that you are anointed. You are anointed, anointed of the Most High God. And that anointing breaks and destroys every yoke that's been set against you. And also remember, Father, yes. that they would remember that this is only a threat. Yes. This is not anything that ha holds any substance. Yes. This is just a threat. Like the vision that you showed me, Lord Jesus, of the Wizard of Oz, going behind the curtain and seeing yes. it's just a little imp that's creating this huge uh, illusion that's not reality and not truth. And so I pray right now for every person watching this. I pray yes. for every lily that they would come to a place, God, to understand that you are the breaker. You are the breaker, hallelujah, in them. That is one of the aspects of who you are in the anointing, that you go up before them and break them with the anointing anointing yes. hallelujah that will begin to break every yoke right now yes. i speak over every one of you watching right now i speak over you i yes. command Thank hallelujah you. uh satan and all of his imps and all of the hosts that would come against the work of God in you. In the name of Jesus, yes. I say the blood is against Hallelujah. you, Satan. The yes. word is against you. The cross yes. is against you. In the name of Jesus, you have no power. You are powerless to perform on their behalf because they are the lilies of the valley. And I take my authority and my position over the lilies of the valley yes. under Christ's steed. And I say, be free, free. in yes. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Be free and stand upon yes. the rock and know who you are and yes. receive the position that God has for you. The orchestrated place uh, I, I've always said this that that even like Cinderella that the Lord has your slipper yes. he has the place where you fit yes. he has your destined design and your yes. destined purpose yes. and so just know that everyone's gonna try to put that shoe on and they're gonna try to stand in line uh, to yes. be fit like like the dream I had of the brides that were putting on all these um, bridal attire and they were ready to get married to the king and then the Lord came to me and said there's all, all these brides but he found this one bride who was set aside who she had this simple dress on and she was beautiful but she knew him and this is what the Lord's looking for it's not yes. who you can impress uh, or try to get someone's attention yes. with what you're wearing or, or or how you're acting it's about being pure and holy and lovely in his sight by loving him and knowing him and coming into a place of agreement with the word and the spirit before yes. him saying Jesus I receive all that you've done I receive all that you are take me into your bedchamber and reveal yourself to me and also conceive in me your word that I may fulfill my destiny in the earth. This is what's going to happen for you. It's your yes that's going to yes. catapult you in. It's your yes, but it's also your no to everything that is against what God is doing in your heart. It's yes. to, a no to the unrighteousness. Yes. It's a no to the darkness. It's a no to the thoughts that aren't of God. It's a no to every relationship that God does not want you in. It's a no to all the Ishmaels and a yes to every eye 
Isaac, this yes. is what God's taking you into. Yes. And you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Yes. It's going to be costly because it's actually going to cost you something. But you know what? It's, oh, it's glorious yes. in the end. And the Lord wants you to know it's yes. glorious what he has for you. Because anything of any real value that you have in your life, if it wasn't costly, there's no value in it. Yes. It just creates this yes. holy value yes. if it actually costs you something. Yes. And I really feel like that's why God had waited all this time before Lilies of the Valley could really come into a place where I would literally see the vision that he gave me as the one who he's called to lead this yes. um, and to oversee it and to steward it. He said that I would mother a movement in the earth and it's the bridal movement in the earth. Yes. And when he first told me that, it was like, who am I? You know, it was like, Yes, that's how we question God. So whatever he's yes. telling you, receive that and say no to everything that's against that. Yes. You know, and, and, and it could take years for it to happen in your eyes, but it's always going to be the perfect timing of God. I still see certain things that I don't understand, but I know that this is the destined purpose and design. That's why I said lilies of the valley is not a ministry. It's the bride of Christ in the earth because yes. every time we see the whole globe in the earth. And so it's about the bride. And so know that your calling is about the bride. That's, That's right. why it's like, you got to build people up. You got to say, but you don't have to get some kind of ministry going, oh, we're lilies of the valley. I, the Lord does not want that. He's very picky about his bride. They are a separate company from even the church as a whole. Yes. The, the, he's very picky. It's about being. It's yes. about being and becoming. Yes. It's about being and becoming and knowing him. Yes. And so in living that, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle of oneness with him. Yes. And you know that. I, I've <clears> taught that. And so did you have something that you wanted to say? I'm going to continue praying. If, well, I... Because I, I feel I, that praying, you do. Praying is better, but I... <laughs> no, I, what you when, have to say when, is I, when I When I put the, the, the Proverbs 3, 7, and 8 out, um, I asked you, what did it speak to you? Because that's what Julie asked me. What did you see? What did you see? What did you hear from God from this passage? <clears throat> and and that's why I put it out like that. Because he wants to speak to you in between the white page and the black words. Come on now. He wants to give you in that treasure yes. in between the letters. That's how you're going to be close to him. That's how you're going to have mm. your victory. Jesus. That's how you're going to hear that's how you're going to live like he needs you to live as the bride of Christ. That's right. That's right. Oh, my face. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's not your fault. It's a good, it's a hurt it's, so good yes. type feeling. Jesus. So, so please, please go to the Lord with this. Meditate yes. on it and send me what he shows you. Yes. This is exchange. You know, and get, guess what? I have to leave Julie again. Mm. Well, I get to come see you, but I have to leave her mm. again. And the Lord's going to test me on this. Mm. Am I going to stay where I'm supposed to be? You should yes, really love on me. because I did when he sent me out here without her. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So this is what we want to encourage you into. We want to yes. encourage you into the secret place with Jesus. Mm hmm to to thank be you, the bride of Christ. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And to duplicate. Thank you, Lord. Disciple others. Bring them in. Be what you need to be to them Jesus. through Jesus. Thank you. That's Lord. what we're here for. Thank you, Lord. Love you guys. Yeah, we love you. And I believe that the, the prophecy uh, through the prayer, receive it. Yes. Just receive it. And yes. right now we just yes. bless. Yes, we do. Lord, we, we trust, trust you. you. He's watching over yes. his work. He's the one that watches over his bride. He's yes. the one that washes her with his word. Yes. So, Lord, I trust you with the lilies yes. of the valley. Yes. Lord, I trust you with your bride. I thank you that you've given me the opportunity and the honor. Hallelujah. And the honor. Hallelujah. To steward. Hallelujah. Your bride and to bring your bride and to present, to purify and to present yes. her to you, Lord. And Lord, I just want to do that well. I want to bear your children well, Lord. Lord, I want to do that. So Lord, yes, I just pray yes. for every lily yes. right now. I pray, God, that you would visit them. Yes. I pray, God, you would cover them. I pray, God, yes. that the blood, how it would be evident upon them. They'd be stricken with your blood, Jesus. Yes. Lord, that the word would be in them. 
instill them in them in such a way it's the, they become the word walking yes. word in the earth living breathing translations yes. hallelujah living breathing over. translations <laughs> of your word in the earth yes Lord. father i thank you for them god you, god i pray right now as as you just covered them lord jesus and and we came against the spirit of darkness and, and the enemy that come against them i pray god that you would fill them now overflowing with your holy spirit and Holy Spirit, I ask you to forgive them if they've grieved you in any way. Any one of them, if they've grieved you, forgive them, Lord. Have mercy. And come, come back and be with them. Help them steward life. Help them steward the call. Help them, Holy Spirit. I thank you. I thank you that you are here to comfort, to lead, to guide, and to help. Forgive us, Lord, if, yes. Holy Spirit, if we've ever grieved you or if yes. we grieve you, show us. Yes. Oh, please don't ever leave. Don't ever leave. Don't ever leave, Lord. Don't ever leave, Holy Spirit. Don't ever leave, Father. We love you. We need you. We desire you. We want you. And we thank you that it is our inheritance to live with you every second of every day. And we give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. In Jesus' name. We love you. Love you, and I wish we could stay longer. Amen. I feel like we've been on there for hours because it's so it's, hot. It's, it's sorry. God bless you. <laughs> Next um, time can I just do a little turnaround and show them just a little bit? Or oh no? yeah, you can. I show mean, she's it's still fine. moving in. It's so fine. you you've got to understand when we when we bought the new motor home. Um, it's still live in. This is this is her and big huge huge. Uh, we threw motor everything home. into the motorhome and didn't put anything away, and so now we're. This in isn't the, the one that she had. You no, had, I, yeah. We, we traded the other one in for this one so that yeah, we could pull bigger. the car and be more mobile than we are. You want me to take it outside, or? <laughs> yeah, we can. Okay, yes. I'm gonna go outside really, really quick, and then we're Just... gonna. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go outside. Oh. I could bend my face. Oh, ouch. Oh, I feel that for you. <laughs> okay. All right. So, look. Isn't this so, a beauty? Here's. If you can see it. More room. We'll go around this way. More room. When we saw it, I told Bob, I said, oh, I could live in this. Well, Jesus gave me a ha ha. <laughs> there it is traded it in so we could pull our vehicle because it's hard being somewhere without a vehicle right julie <laughs> <laughs> yes okay well we love you lilies love you. i know a lot of you're going to watch the replay so text me text me love you